Hello, everyone. Welcome to Project 24. I am your host, Adrian. Uh, Jacob's not here today. He just needed a day to recuperate for a long week, which is understandable. Uh, today, we got a very special guest of us, a good friend of the show, uh, Beatmaster. They <laughs> do it the whole Queen of England wave like that. Oh, my gosh. that's I love it. Uh, Johnny Beat, boys and girls, and whatever else is out there. But uh, <laughs> Johnny, how are you, buddy? I, I actually had the it's tracks by Johnny now because fucking tracks by Johnny me. right yeah fucking that's all right though man uh, how's how are you buddy fuck it's been uh it's been a long time bro school's done just gonna go to my trailer on some redneck shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> go uh, for a rip there eh bud <laughs> uh, just, dude, bro just do beats and shit man like I've always done you know yeah buddy that's awesome that's awesome uh yeah, so we want to talk about your uh, your new album that came out on what was it April twenty first? No, April April seventeenth. Yeah, seventeenth. Shit, I'm sorry, buddy. I was close. <laughs> I, was close. I, I thought it was around that time. I knew it was around that time. But uh, yeah, so what um what inspired what you to make a beat album, and what kind of what got you kind of started, bro? Uh, start to explain, man. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how it started. So like. People are like, why'd you name it Johnny vs. the World? That's so depressing. I'm like, bro, because if you think about it, like, bro, as a kid, I was bullied. Like, did, wasn't liked by anybody, you know, got into fights with other students, arguments with teachers, people passing by, like, the street, like, oh, that's shit, right? So it's like, if you think about the mentality, like, Johnny, it's you versus everybody, like, in the real world. So, and it's not... It sounds cool, bro. Johnny versus the world. That sounds like sick as fuck, you know. So that's why. Yeah, I mean. bro. It it sounds pretty drip, bro. Like I I can understand that too, you know. Like uh, I kind of went through a lot of those similar things, like you too, you know. Just uh, some tough situations like that growing up at times. But uh, yeah, bro. Like I've been I've been looking at some of these and listening to a lot of these songs, dude. And I can tell um, a lot of these songs are like very like. You make like you, I I can say like you make like method music, you know, like like they have like a true meaning behind them. I can tell, and uh, yeah, do, yeah, like does every song kind of uh, connect to you in a way? Would you? I guess you would say. Yeah, bro. Yo, literally, um, cause I, bro, you you know I can't speak. I suck at speaking, bro. Like, and I'll get into that in a bit. I'll the story, but like, so I'm like, everybody doesn't listen to me when I talk, but they all listen to my beats for some reason. So I'm like, all right, I'll just tell my story through the music. Through like the sounds and the melodies, you know, through the samples, all that stuff. That's but, yeah. awesome. That that's that's a good answer, actually. Yeah, like that's, you know, you can explain how you feel, you know, through your music. And I know I know a lot of artists uh, like to do that, especially more like in the, you know, obviously in the electronic music or even the hip hop uh, community. There, uh, they a lot of them like to, you know express themselves through their music and like i actually really admire artists that do that because a lot of the music nowadays is pretty fucking garbage to be honest with you and uh no you don't agree mumble rap is like i got bitches and hoes and designer bro get the fuck out of here there's like the odd one that was like you know that like kind of like had deep music you know like uh juice world was one i think personally like they he had some deep meaning behind, like, like more modern artists I'm talking, you know, you can go to, like, the 90s and talk, like, Tupac and Biggie, like, you know, obviously they had a little bit more of a method style, too, I guess. Um, you know, a lot of those old, old, old school rappers, right? But, like, yeah, no, a lot of the music nowadays is, like, so garbage, like... It, I know, like, I sound like an old person saying that, but, like, it's... I'm, I think a lot of people would agree, you know? No, I'm the same way, man. Bro, if you... That's why I'm saying, you know, Logic, Joey Badass, YBN Corday, dude, there's so many, man. There's like, I just started listening to it. My brother showed me a hold on. I can't play it because of copyright, but I'll, I'll tell you his name. Uh, shoot. R.A. The Rugged Man, bro, I'll send you some of his music. It's fire. Yeah, like, send that to me, dude. Yeah, I want to yo, yo, yo. see that. Hold on one sec, getting a phone call. <laughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've gotten that a few times when I've been uh, been on here. Get a phone call, you're just like I I can't I can't answer right now. But um, yeah, dude. Um, so like again, how did you get like uh, how did you like kind of get started? Like, what kind of got you into making music? Because I remember back then when I we first started like talking when you know 
when we worked together back then and you know you're telling me that you're into making beats and music and like i thought that'd be pretty interesting because like i always was a singer growing up and i've thought about getting into like you know making electric music in the past but i'm like like edm and shit but i'm like i don't have the fucking you know what i mean like and, and your music's dude like i'm not i'm not just saying it because like we're homies but like your music's really good bro I was, I was just listening to some of your songs before we got on here and like like some some good beats man uh, I fucking I fuck with it, bro. Oh, thanks. Well, yo, honestly, no. The reason I've been doing music for like 15 years, bro. Yeah, okay. So, so like I used to sing, played piano, yeah. uh, did a bit of bass, but like, bro, I stopped singing because like my vocal class, uh, my high school, they just ruined singing for me. Like they did all this class. Oh man. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. I keep oh. up to you. <laughs> No, it's okay, buddy. But yeah, I, I kind of relate to that. Like, were you in were you in the arts program? I well, you went to Aquinas, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I did too. And honestly, like, it's like again, I, this is no dude. Like, this is no res- disrespect to like anybody that I was in uh, the program with. But like, it just again, grade ten, I was in the program and I loved it. And then grade eleven became and it, it just killed it for me. And then grade twelve, it just felt like a chore. And uh, now I'm kind of just like. I, I'm by the way, guys. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel for making song covers, so I just want to put that in there. It's in the works, so stay posted. But anyways, uh, yeah, like, I kind of want to get back into it because I'm like, you know, it, it killed it for me for a while. But um, you know, I kind of miss it in some ways, you know. So, but yeah, tell like, how did it kill it for you? Like, how did like I'll explain why it did for me, but you go ahead first, buddy. Nah, bro. I teachers, man. Like, first of all, my teacher was an idiot. She was like. Like, she said, you should do all sorts of music. I'm like, yeah, but not the same one every single day. Like, we we did the same song, like, practice it, and nobody... Dude, like, you have to understand it this way. Teachers, when they come to school, they're only usually taught, like, one genre, and they stick to the genre. So, yeah. like, I was like, pop, rock, and then just going to classical, which is good for the beats, but for the singing, like, you got to do some other stuff. You got to do... You got to get into, like, rock songs hip-hop songs the way she taught she didn't she didn't know what she was talking about bro like and she's like doing this for 10 years and i'm like yeah i've been doing it for 15 years and i'm younger than you like how do i know more (laughs) and then like and bro just political opinions man like she used to yeah she used to talk about like you know international women's day and how women should have more rights and then i'm like bro get the fuck out of here with that shit like go go like bro i remember Oh, not to get, get off topic. It kept no, no, it, go ahead, man. that, but I got sent to the BP's office so many times for speaking my opinion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like. Honestly, man. Like, yeah. When I was in school, like when I was in high school, like dude, that like, it was not political, dude. Nothing was political back then. That's what I missed. That's what I miss now. Like you have these teachers, like in high school, elementary school, and college, university, that just like shove this like rhetoric down their students' throats. And like I know people personally, including you, that have told me like, yeah, like uh, you know, I'm sorry we disagreed on our opinions before because you know I had like a professor that was shoving rhetoric down my throat. It's like they're not getting taught to fucking influence you politically. Uh, They're getting taught to teach you the content in the course, and that's fucking it. Whatever political opinions you have, you can express them, but don't, like, force them to think that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm so glad I'm out of high school, bro. Fuck that shit. (laughs) Like, when I left high school, I was like, I'm never speaking to any of these people again. (laughs) Goodbye. (laughs) Like, I had a couple hit me up from high school. Like, when I started working out and shit, and these three girls... I'm not going to say the names, because some people from Sora are going to watch this, but you know who you are. These three girls, super popular, and they were just, like... Because I posted a picture. I deleted it from my Instagram, but it was, like, me from, like, 2015 and me now and, like, a huge difference. And I I had all these girls, like, oh, my God, Johnny, like, look at you. You're so ripped. And I'm, like, all right. (laughs) Um, They're, like, what are you doing next week? And I'm just, like, I don't know, working nothing whatever right (laughs) oh we should hang out i'm like yeah no i'm not interested they're like why not i know you had a crush on me back in high school i'm like well you don't want me when i'm on my worst but you want me you want me when i'm on my best bad brother (laughs) exactly yo i had a 
Go go ahead, bro. Like, uh, no, I was gonna say like I had football players too. They're like, "Yo, what's your workout routine?" I'm like, suck, "Bro, suck my dick. I'm not giving you that." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, that's that. Fuck, bro. I had I had one fucking. Uh, I had there was this one girl. I remember like in like in high school, she hit me up, and she like I went to elementary school with her, and she like treated me like absolute shit for like no reason. And then one time she like hit me up in high school and slid in my DMs and I was and she's like, oh, do you want to like go on a date? I was like, are are you asking me out? Like I was like I wasn't interested. First of all, I just. <laughs> I was like, dude. It's like, like this, this girl's asking me out. I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. I've never had that happen before. You but uh, no. what's that? You say yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't interested. I wasn't interested. Hey, man. And you know what? That's okay. You don't have like that's the problem with like society too. It's like women can like curve any guy they want. Like, hey, if it's her choice, she, if she doesn't like the guy, that's fine. But like a guy, it's like it's like almost like they're obligated to like, oh, if if you like reject a girl, you're an asshole. It's like what the fuck, like, it, it's you know what I mean? Like you should date whoever you want, right? Yeah, no, real shit, bro. I, I feel yeah. you, bro. Yeah, bro, it's fucking, you know what I mean? I kind of used to fall for that shit. I'm like, oh man, I feel bad if like I feel guilty, but it's like nah, bro. Like if you you have like if you're not interested in her, like yo, rather you just be honest with her flat up and say nah, I'm not interested, girl, instead of like you leading her on and she just fucking gets her heart broken right so i'd rather just, hey you just got to be real man like that's it um there's not there's not many people like that anymore in this world man a lot a lot of fake ass people in this world that's one thing i've fucking learned growing up dude especially in brampton like <laughs> yo fuck bro like, I, I, everything you're saying i agree with you 100 percent, bro body, 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 yeah. like it's fucking it's crazy bro. dude i was well i mean I, I was a simp back in high school i can't count i was a simp so like <laughs> Yo, oh, like all... no, sorry, my my bad. Go ahead. No, bro. no, go, 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 buddy. Sorry, I I didn't, I didn't know it was. Uh, go ahead. No, I was, say, <laughs> I was a sim back in high school, and then after this one girl who cheated on me, I'm like, bro, I'm just turning into a fuck boy, straight up. Like, fuck these relationships, man. Like, yeah, I mean, like, I you know what? Like, I I was kind, I was a fuck boy in high school, dude. I was I was pretty bad. I was pretty bad, notorious and bad for it. Uh, I I think I slid in a lot of girls' DMs in high school. I was one of those pieces of shit. But like, and I was even after too. But like, I'm not obviously like that anymore. Uh, you grow up and shit. And I got a girlfriend now, so I can't. And yeah. uh, I don't want to. But uh, yeah. So it, it's okay. Every 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 dude goes through like their fuckboy phase. Like, and ev every girl goes through that thought phase. It's 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 inevitable you know like well not okay sorry not every girl i don't want to i don't want to generalize all girls oh, some oh, most but oh, yeah okay uh, most I don't, yo i feel like if we say most girls will go we'll get canceled <laughs> <laughs> it's hey it's not can it's not you can't cancel if it's true like uh speaking of yo did, did you do you know kevin samuels no. that guy that oh you don't know him oh dude he's like this uh life coach and like he puts like these girl. Uh, he's like always talks about like modern women like being out of out of place and like being out of like out of uh, and like not being okay and shit. I was like, oh, what the hell? And like, yo, he's he's like getting fucking viral on the internet, and they're trying to like cancel this guy, but like all he does is speak facts. Like <laughs> he just yeah, bro, he's, he's dangerous, bro. I've, I've tried. I've tried. Like people have tried to cancel me for speaking the truth. Like when I used to wake up everybody to the COVID scandemic, it was like. I was telling them the facts. I was like, listen, I'm like, because you know the Great Reset, obviously, right? <laughs> oh, it's not right. a legitimate thing. Our okay. world leaders Sorry. have told us they are on board with this plan. Like, so I showed them the facts. And here's the thing, right? This is like the average person can't think for themselves. Like, they get other people, they listen to other people who tell them to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, it's like when you're trying to wake up somebody, it's like talking to a brick wall. I swear to God. Like, I'm just, that's why I don't really talk about it anymore. Cause it's like, bro, like I've tried, I'm tired. Like I've tried my hardest. Like I just, can't, like they got to figure it out for themselves now, man. Like we've, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what you mean, man. Like everyone kind of just finds their own way, I guess. Like, especially with the, the climate we're in now, where like people are so damn like closed minded on both sides. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, it, that's why we're so like fucked up as well like because just people are so close-minded on both sides and they don't want to listen to each other anymore like they're, they're, nobody wants to have conversations anymore it's like this is like 
You know what I mean? And like, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Like I remember a year ago when this bullshit all started, I was kind of like, I was seeing you post the stuff and I was like, eh, I don't really agree with it. It's some good points. Right. Like I, I, I was being open-minded in the fact of listening to like, I didn't agree with it at first. Right. But I was being open-minded and listening to what you were like, what you were posting and seeing what you're saying. And I was like, I didn't judge you for it. Like, I was like, I don't agree with it, but you know, you're still, but now that after a while I started to realize I'm like, yeah, maybe he's right. You know, like maybe yeah, these people are right. You know, I didn't want to like, I didn't want it to be true, but like, and then I started kind of, again, I started opening my eyes and I was like, wait a minute, this isn't, you know, this is not like what it's being advertised to be, you know, like, I mean, I'm not saying like the, the virus doesn't exist. Like I, I don't, I think it does exist, but like, I don't think it's, it's nearly as deadly as like everyone's saying it is because again, I'm a big numbers guy. I'm a big facts guy when, here, you bro. know, nine, 99.4% of people are surviving this and like 0.6% of them are not, are like, are the severe cases and not even 1% of them are severely, like, killing people. Like, you know, like, I, I, again, I'm a numbers and facts guy. Like, you can't argue with numbers. You can't argue facts, right? And that, that's how, you know, that it is, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm trying to say, man? So did I wake you up or, like... Did you you, you, did, you did kind of influence me, but, like, also, like, I kind of started seeing it on my own. I kind of saw, like, the trend that the world was going into. And I was kind of like, this is not... It's not okay. And then again, then you get the politicians like openly saying things like, yeah, like we're, we're down for an, uh, an economic reset and we're down for, uh, oh, and you get like other, like, you know, Christia Freeland's another one who was like, oh yeah, COVID is a, is a great political opportunity. Like they're literally telling you to your fucking face that we're controlling you and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's like, that's not okay. That's, that's not okay. And again, I'm not going to stay silent on this bullshit anymore. Like, I'm so against these lockdowns. Like, I don't honestly don't really care about the mask thing. Like, it doesn't really bother me. Um, if, I, if I have to go into a store for fucking 10 minutes and wear a mask, that really doesn't bother me. It's not that big a deal. But just like the, the other side of it, like with like the whole, like the, the reset part and, you know, just other other political figures saying, you know, like, I don't even know, like, Fauci, like, saying, like, early on, oh, we shouldn't be wearing masks. Why are we wearing masks? And then now he's like, oh, everyone should be wearing three masks now. Like, it's just like they're flip-flopping their views. And I'm just like, how do you, like, how do you expect people to be on board with this shit? Like, you know what you I mean? Know, listen, I remember. Yeah, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was gonna say, you want, want to know the proper way to wear a mask? How? I'll show you. Oh, you have one there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the what the fuck? <laughs> she wears as a headband. Never mind, Jesus. Hey, eh? no, I'm just playing, dude. I brought to me like, cause I'm, you know what, you know what's funny? I was having a conversation with this girl from my elementary school. I haven't seen her in like ten years, bro. Uh-huh. So we talked yesterday for a couple hours. So she's a liberal. I'm conservative, but bro, she has she has great points from her her point of view. I had points from my or I, I, yeah. I had great points from my point of view and like, dude, I don't, bro, if you wear the mask, I don't care. It's just, yeah. don't force me to wear a mask. Like I believe in freedom of choice, freedom of speech. Medical and choice. Truth, right. It's like these people say my body, my choice, but they force you to wear a mask. Like, and the mask doesn't even do anything. If the mask and the lockdown did stuff, we wouldn't be in this mess anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, like, I mean, another thing is, too, like, Texas lifted their mask mandates and their cases have gone down drastically. So, yeah. again, I'm not anti-mask. Like, again, like I said, I don't really care if I have to be in a store for maybe 10, 20 minutes the most. I don't even spend that much time in a store where whatever's open now anyways. But, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, it's just, like, the other political things. And they're using this thing to, kind of, like, again, divide and conquer because... Uh, oh excuse me you get the government involved you know they make laws and people don't understand like how they're like oh this shouldn't be political but it is political because the government steps in and makes rules for us you're yeah. gonna have two up op- two sides of the story two sides of the the law or like you know there can be two opposing sides they're gonna they're gonna disagree it's just basic politics like i don't know how people don't realize that this is political right like it's well, the problem is no, I was going to say, like, the problem is the world is so politically divided. Is like, if you're a Trump supporter, you're a racist, cousin fucking redneck hillbilly, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. well, I have friends who support Trump, and I have friends who support 
well, not they don't support Biden, but Barack Obama, Sanders, whatever. Yeah. And dude, like, I don't care, like, if what side you're on, right or left side. You're a good person. Who fucking cares? Yeah, dude. Like, I don't. That's my attitude now, man. Like, personally, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, I have lots of liberal friends, and like, they don't agree. Like, again, I'm I'm conservative, more right leaning. Like, you know, I mean, I, I don't like the Canadian Conservative Party. They're a bunch of fucking idiots. But that's like a that's a whole other topic. But like, you know, like I, if they like the liberals, like, I don't care. Like, Hey, if you're a good person, you respect me and you're respectful to everybody else, then who am I to judge? Right? Like that, that's the whole problem. That's what we kind of forgotten now is that, especially with public figures, like I saw this on the internet, on Twitter before we got on here, uh, there was like the, the quarterback that got drafted by the jets the other day. Apparently he was like retweeting like Trump, like pro Trump tweets or something. And then now they're fucking the cancel culture NFL cancel culture is trying to go after him. And I'm like, who fucking cares? Like at this point, like Trump's not even president anymore. Like who cares? Like, why do you guys still care about the guy? Like he's gone. No, nah, man. <laughs> he's not the president anymore. Yo, People are still gonna... bitching about him. Like, yo, I shut the fuck say, up. Like, yo, like speaking of sports, bro, like fuck, I was going to, I think I told you this before about football, man, dude, in bro, I was going to bring it up earlier in school, man, bro. I hated the football players. Hockey, yeah. are you play, you play hockey, no? I do. Well, before all this, yeah, I did play hockey. So, like, you know, like, they all go in groups together and, like, they all, They're all like... cliques. Yeah, there's cliques. Yeah, yeah. Man, dude, I, I've, I've become what I've hated, bro. I look like a hockey <laughs> player. I know. Like, this look girl, you. like, I had this girl, another girl, too. She's like, do you play hockey? I'm like, no. And she's like, well, you look like one. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, I look like a hockey boy. Well, like, you know, like, it's just, like, the hair, like... And the way you dress, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I was so confused. <laughs> like, um, nah, man. Like, so when people ask me if you play sports, I'm like, I play 2K. <laughs> like, I don't play. <laughs> there you go. That's a good but answer. I'm, I'm so out of shape. Like, I, I actually need to go play sports. Like, I just too lazy dude, to go outside. and. Dude, trust me, man. I used to play hockey two, three times a week before all this stuff. I mean, you remember back then, like, I wasn't super skinny, but, like, you know, I was in decent shape before yeah, all COVID. You, 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 I played, you, never, you were never fat. Well, I had a bit of a dad bod, but I wasn't, well, like, fucking I, Dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dad bod, like. I'm peaking dad bod right now. That's that's the thing, because I haven't played hockey much lately. I played, I played three times this winter. That's it. Like, that's not enough for me, you know? Three times. I used to play two times a week. Like, that, that, that was, like, my average, right? And. Um, like, and that, that's what I also wanted to go into is like what, what I'm so like, it's with these, like, again, talking about the COVID, like the lockdowns and stuff, it's not just like the political thing for me. It's more so now like the, like the mental health aspect of it, you know, like, cause like, again, you're telling people they can't play, do things they love anymore. Uh, it's not, that's not okay. It doesn't matter for if it's a virus or whatever it is. Like, that's not okay. Like. Like, I, I remember um, seeing, uh, I think it was Leo Ra Ra Rowdens. Yeah, he's the Raptors guy on TSN. And oh. uh, he posted something on his Twitter the other day about, like, dude, they put fucking chains on the freaking basketball hoops and mark them so the kids can't play. I'm like, that's not that's not okay. Like, that's not healthy. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, dude. It's, our, it's not okay. Like, like, our obese, unqualified premier who needs to work out because he's clearly out of shape. <laughs> Is closing the gyms when he needs it the most. Oh, trust me, he's oh god, I don't even want to get started on Ford. He's uh, uh that guy. I mean, honestly, it's Great. just the situation is what it is. I mean, I, but like what I, like I was saying too, like I just don't like you know you, people people need sports again. People need health and wellness in their life to keep themselves positive, keep their minds positive, keep their bodies image positive like a lot of other things right and you can't just like tell people oh yeah you can't do this anymore you're you're uh you're you playing sports uh, is not essential anymore you know like and especially for a lot of kids that are trying to you know make it in those sports or whatever right if you want to go that route like it's harder for them right like how do you think these kids that are trying to play like you know trying to make the like the nhl you know playing triple a hockey they're not playing right now they probably yeah. haven't stepped on the ice in like freaking eight months, maybe longer, right? So it affects a lot of things, you know. And I, I'm just—I don't know. I, th I think we gotta—you gotta—they gotta ease up a little, you know. 
Well, if people start waking up, hopefully, man. I was going to say, dude, for me, bro, even with working out, man, like, because I was at the gym, like, every single day, bro. I remember that, man. I remember that. So, so like, like those, uh, I don't think, I don't know if you could see the resistance bands. Yeah, I could see those. Yeah, just in the corner there. Those have been my savior. So there's like a whole myth where you can't build muscle. I have more muscle now than I've ever had before just because of the bands. So like, it's, really, eh? Yeah, no, it's good, dude. If you like use them properly and if you eat properly, you'll like they can still build muscle. If you oh, want, not bad. I think the oh, fuck, what's the guy's name? I think it's George. George, no, James George or James. I don't even know his, his last name. But he, bro, he has like just a resistance band like mass building program i might just save myself six hundred dollars every year like fuck sake like i might just use the the resistance band bro yeah for yeah 50, for real man for like 50 bucks if you it get, works hey you should get a pair too bro i do all this I all this space right here like all around i have a small ass room and i can still like do a kick-ass workout and like make my beats play video games like you don't yeah, need a whole lot of space that's pretty awesome dude like um have you been have you been working out lately a lot or, or besides the resistance band like what have you been doing because i know again you used to be in the gym every day so how often do you do now because oh, you were pretty swole back then bud you're pretty yeah. swole back then there buddy boy I, Fucking you know, a. <laughs> I just started i just started recently because i because i was working like i was doing school right but dude, I was getting like assignments after assignments like every single week. So like I couldn't work. <laughs> like, I'd wake up in the morning, do homework before I go to work, come home from work, do like it was crazy, man. Like I had to just edit a whole documentary, like the music side of it. I had to do like an annotated bibliography of yardstick report, like a all this stuff, man. Like so at least since I'm done now, like I'm just gonna work out like almost every day if I'm not Good stuck man. at like that. Get you know that summer I'm, body going, you know? Oh, I hope so, man. I'm like I said, I'm just gonna go up north and just you know fresh some beers and shit, you know? Yeah, there you yeah. go, buddy. No, <laughs> yeah, dude, you should you should come out, man. But I think we're we I'm have bad. to put like a tank in the ground because like when we shit, it doesn't like I think it stays on like a like a plastic tank. I gotta talk yeah. to my dad about it. But bro, like if I get yo a tent yo tents are lit too, bro. We can just drive up there. It's a nice area too, bro. No COVID bullshit, no mast. Like everybody's like just hard ass conser- kick ass conservatives up there. Like, bro, it's hey, amazing. That's that's the thing though, man. You go more up in the country like that, and like people are more like on the conservative side. But then you go in the city, it's where all the, you know, yeah. the liberal people are. That's just that's just how it's always been. Like it doesn't matter where you go in the world, it's like that, right? So, yeah, that's people. I honestly though, like I find people like in the country are a lot nicer to be honest um yeah like even i go up to like my uncle's place up north and he just uh again his neighbors are just the nicest people like you can like have conversations with them and like they're just they're you can tell they're not fake they're just genuinely like nice people you know and like just yeah there's just a nice little community up there and you just love to see that stuff you know um i i hate being in the city like I'll, i'll tell you straight up Every time I go up north, it's peaceful. Like, it's like off the grid sort of situation. Like, I can just play my music. Like, just it, yeah, buddy, for sure. Monster. Like, it's dude, and all the I told you all the like I've never ran into anybody up north where they were like a shitty human being. They're all yeah. like super super nice. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, like I just love going up north too. Like uh, my uncle's place, and like sometimes you know like. It'll be like, you know, maybe in the middle of the afternoon or kind of sunset. I'll just go to the dock and just kind of chill there, cast out a line, you know, maybe just cast a line, see what you can go, see if any fish are out to bite. And yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's really peaceful too. You get the winds. It's, yeah, it's, it's something to die for, man. Uh, I would definitely love to have a Cotty one day. It's just, they're, 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 they're getting expensive now though, eh? They're getting yeah, mad dude, expensive, bro. Well, just get a trailer. Trailer is so much yeah. better in my opinion. Really, eh? I like can, cottages though, man. No, like they're no the cottages, cottages are nice, but like yeah. I'd rather just have a trailer. I'm just used to it more, but dude, yeah, true. like I'm I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, well, I was gonna say even with with fishing, I love to go fishing, but like the last time I went was like back in grade nine, and like we didn't. There was like six of us, like me and my cousins. We didn't catch a single fish. 
And plus, I hooked myself on the back. Like, Wait, I just... What? Like, <laughs> you stabbed I was, yourself? I was casting. I, like, instead of doing it this way, I went back, and then it got, it got caught in there. You dumbass. <laughs> Bro, I was, dude, I'm not. You gotta go like that, bro. You gotta angle it, you know? Yeah, man. Like, (laughs) and bro, they were even, it was so embarrassing. They were even throwing fish in the sea, and it was just us six and like maybe two other people. And they caught it. We didn't, we didn't catch any. You know how embarrassing that was? Yeah, you know what, though? Like, honestly, the last few times I've gone, I haven't caught anything. Uh, It's been a few years. I think it's been, fuck, I think it's been like, uh fuck i think it's been five years since i caught something bro i remember i caught a full fucking size pike it was had to at least be 15 20 pounds and it was just off the dock and i caught it i brought and i I like catching pike because they they fight they they it's a it's a fun catch because like they they really make you uh to run for your money right and uh yeah so my i was like to my uncle i was like hey grab my phone quick so i can grab a picture and um fucking i uh by the time he got like he pulled out my phone and was about to put the camera on the the freaking asshole just jumped back in the water somehow got out of my hand and just like, oh my God. They're, they're strong bro those those pike are freaking strong bro they're fun to catch though i i caught a couple like bass and shit but i've i have one buddy that goes like like serious serious fishing not like cottage fishing like actual like on the yeah. lake bro yeah. he he doesn't fuck around he he he's caught in some huge ones bro oh, uh, so- shout out to matt if you're watching uh, well, yeah, shout he- out to matt if you're watching buddy yeah uh, you, you shout out i don't know you but you must be a badass <laughs> he, he is was. He's a certified beauty, so uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, so we we're talking about like the whole COVID thing. Like, I don't know if you saw a few weeks ago. Uh, I posted something on my story about um, a lot of things on your story. I know, I I know, <laughs> but there was one specifically about like an NHL goalie like getting pissed about like the whole vaccine thing. So basically. Uh, is Robin Leonard. He plays with the Vegas Golden Knights. And uh, apparently the NHL lied about the vaccination uh, restrictions. So basically the NHL promised the players, like, if they get vaccinated, that um, that they can, you know, go back to, like, just being normal humans again. Just go again. Like, what, what yeah. they keep promising us, right? But, yeah. And apparently they lied, and they lied about the easing up the restrictions. And uh, he, like, sounded off on it. And, like, I saw that, and people were like, oh, good job, you know, like, good for standing up what's right. I'm like... It, yes, like it's good, but I mean, it's it's happening to them. It's it's probably gonna happen to us soon. I don't think I don't even think, dude, it's gonna end here with the. Uh, you know what I mean? No, Sometimes I, I have I have my unless if the people actually stand up, like they said, I think seventy percent, seventy or seventy five percent need to be vaccinated with one dose, and twenty percent need to be vaccinated with the second dose. So what happens if we don't hit that seventy or seventy five percent? Are you gonna throw yeah. a tantrum, like? Are you going to keep us locked inside indefinitely? Yeah, like, I know. It's bullshit, no. man. It's, no. it's bullshit. Like, I mean, my whole thing, too, like, I don't know if uh, you saw Joe Rogan. He he caused a little bit of a stir with, uh, and the White House even got pissed off. Um, he was on his podcast the other day. I yeah. think it was the other day. And he was talking about how, like, again, why are they forcing young people to take these vaccines? Like, again, someone, for example, like you, John Johnny, like, you're you're in good shape you know you work like you work out and you know you keep you eat healthy and you know you're obviously very slim and but you know swole too like you know what i mean like you're in good shape you're 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 like i'm, I'm not just trying to toot your horn no. i'm just saying as an example so why are they going to be forcing someone like you who is healthy and who has i would assume has an extremely strong immune system why are they going to force you to take take that and if, if it does not affect you like i just and that's basically what he said. He and he he didn't say like I'm not saying to not get vaccinated. He and that's like my thing too. It's like I'm not telling people to get vaccinated. Like it should. I think again, like you said before, like my body, my choice kind of thing, right? Those people are, you know, kind of shoving the whole. You know what I mean? Like it. it, it, it yeah. Exactly. Like <laughs> there's no other way. I mean, and and that's the thing. Like like why are they 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 forcing people to do that when? You know, like especially healthy people. Like healthy people don't need to be vaccinated. Straight up, like healthy people do not just need to be vaccinated. Yeah, you, and, don't, you 
don't need a you don't need a virus for a ninety nine point like nine nine six seven percent survival rate. Come on. Yeah, man. it's like ninety. Uh, the la- like I saw this on TikTok this morning. I don't know. It could be wrong, but I was saying about the ninety nine point four percent with Ontario with their 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 the COVID cases and how like only point six percent of them are are like lethal ones. So yeah. it's like if those numbers are true. Like yeah, the number one shit, bro. You know, you know what I, you know what I'm gonna start telling people because I see, and again, I, I just see this everywhere I go. Like I go to like a gas station, I go to the grocery store. Everyone just looks freaking depressed, and I don't blame them. And you, you know what? For everyone that's watching this, like you want, you want to be happy. You don't want to live in fear anymore. Don't watch the news anymore. Straight up, I stopped watching the news every night. All it would do is get me angry, and and feel like negative, and like I would invest so much time in being angry, and it's like. Bro, Use that time to like do something positive, you know. It's all, admit- dude, it's, all t- it's all television programming, like the amount of hurts they said it to. It's all about that. That's why, like, with music, bro, like nobody listens to me when I talk. Did it through music. My song New World Order, like <laughs> a lot of people were like, bro, that song goes fucking hard and shit. And I'm like, dude. And then they asked me where I got the beginning of uh, uh like dialogue. Yeah. I think it was like from Australia. It was one of the, I don't even know. It was one of the governors. I could be wrong, but I'm like, bro, it sounds sick. So if I put that in, if they don't listen to me, they'll listen to the, the dialogue in the song. And that's then, a good uh, way to put it. Yeah. 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 And dude, like, that's why I'm saying, bro, the beats are making beats is super, like, it's easy for me personally, because I can get across them. Yeah. You know and you, yeah. And you put like your heart into it, you know, and you, you put your feels into it, you know, and like that's that's the best kind of best kind of anything, man. The people that like make whatever it is, like their music, their I don't know, their their acting, like whatever profession or whatever it may be. But you put like you make it authentic, and you make it like how you want it, like and how you feel. There's nothing better than that because like again, there's so many artists now like that um again they don't have control over their content they don't like they just have a manager saying here here's a here's lyrics sing this shit hurry the fuck up like you know what i mean like it's it's not again and that's not always their fault the artist's fault but and you know you got some people hey and i'm gonna say this girl's name but taylor swift like yo she makes her own music and i know like she's like it is whatever but like uh, Taylor Swift, but like, oh, yo, know, like her music is authentic. She writes her own shit, right? So yeah. it comes from her. It's it's real. It's real shit. So, yeah. I, I I that's the thing I respect the shit out of her for, you know. Yeah, dude, I don't really listen to Taylor Swift. I don't either, but like, I just saw a documentary on her last year or something. It was and how she like spends so much time. Like again, she writes her own music, dude. Like it's it's all her, and that's what I mean. She just keeps it authentic and. Yo, she it's it's uh, her music's authentic because it's her like it's her speaking, not her 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 lyricist or her her public her PR somebody, people. You know, like yeah. Cardi B, I think she has a ghostwriter. Drake also had a ghostwriter. By yo, I I don't believe it until there's facts. So I didn't see any facts on both of them. Wait for uh, what? Sorry. Uh, go. So Cardi B apparently had a ghostwriter, which probably oh. is true. Drake apparently had a ghostwriter before, which. It's probably true, but like until I see the evidence that I know, a ghostwriter. Sorry, what is what does that term mean? I'm not too it's familiar. Somebody, it's somebody who writes all your lyrics. And oh, so, so yeah. it's a lyricist. Yeah, it's a, it's a, like a lyricist, but they're uh, they're not in the limelight. They don't get credited for anything. Oh, basically, okay. they're kind of more behind the scenes. They get paid like on the side, but they don't like mention it. You know. Got you, got you, got you. Uh, like, who knows? Like, yeah, it probably could be true. I mean. Uh, Drake is with Sony. That's another thing too. Like, so he's just very profitable, right? So even if he has some a ghost writer, you know, or somebody like he's still like everything he releases, dude, has just been a number one hit for like years. You know what I mean? Like, like every new song he releases, it's always on the radio. Like you always hear it. So, yeah, and I respect that about him. You know, like he's people people like to shit on that guy so much. Like, but dude, like. You can say what you want about his personality, but like, yo, his brand is just so like, so like powerful, you know, like he's, it's, it's become so big, like since God, like the OVO, sorry, not the OVO, like the, the, the young money Drake. Like I remember seeing, listening to him back then and just now like, dude, he's, he's huge. Like he's, 
it's fantastic, you know. Yeah, bro, every song he puts out is like number one on Billboard, iTunes, Spotify. Yeah, bro. I'm killing it, bro. Like he's everything, bro. He's he's living the dream, like that you would want as like an artist, you know. Like yeah. there's yeah, bro. Like I, I that's what I mean. Like I like him for that aspect, and like I respect like how but for what he's accomplished, you know. Yeah. Like, people are like, oh, he's like a fuck boy and all this stuff. Like yeah, okay, maybe he is, but like, look how successful he is. You. Can't, you can't even talk you can't even talk bad about the guy like oh you can't, can't talk bad about him bro he's he's just he's successful he's he's lived life like what, how everyone else wants to and like yo everyone tries to be him like he's influenced like the city so much like you know what i mean like yeah no, he's no. yeah he, bro he's put the city on a wave bro he's put this city like on the map in terms of you know like uh, the music industry just 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 in general you know he's done a lot for this city and i like that he um stays loyal too you know because a lot of them just like go to the states and they never come back so no no i don't like, like bro but you know yo here's the thing though like i said because i've done this for like 15 plus years yeah but need more credit the the people who make the beats the music producers they need more credit so like i kind of know what they do like they'll make the beat and you know mix it master it mix the vocals or whatever like I can I can show you in a bit how I make my beats because it's like pretty easy. I'll show I'll make two if you want like a boom bap or like a trap beat. Yeah, man. But, like they need they need more credit. Like that's why for me I don't I don't want it to go in the music industry. Like and I was even talking to my my friend last night. I'm thinking of getting off social media for good, bro. Like I really? just have, I just have no interest in being on. All you see is like COVID, lockdown, shutdowns police brutality violence black lives matter white supremacy bro like yeah it is a problem but like i don't want to see that shit anymore it's so yeah that's the thing too like i try to stay away from that stuff as much as possible like that's what i mean like i was saying earlier like don't i don't watch the news anymore i don't really invest my time into politics anymore like i used to because again it's just unless you're gonna like do something f with it you know what i mean like you're gonna like be, get into a career with it then obviously you got to invest the time but like yo what, like it's just i could have used all that time like in the past like bitching about the democrats and like trudeau and shit like you know and, and actually done this like you know like i could have used all that time to do what i'm doing now and i could have done it earlier right it's so good. it's all good bro. yeah bro it, it, but that's the thing like i don't even really care anymore like i mean i care what's going on here like obviously this is our country like i, I mean kind of weird that i'm wearing a texas hat <laughs> and i'm talking about yeah this is my country you know but but uh oh man like i that's i care what was going on here and i'm i'm not liking what i'm seeing here and it's very like it's very scary man it's very no, very scary like i told you man the people just they gotta wake up dude like people are waking up it's just they're not their voices aren't loud enough that's the yeah. problem uh, we'll see what happens man i told you yeah. like i just don't i just focus on my beats now bro like i'm already I'm already, uh, what's it called? Halfway through the second B tape. Nice. And, uh, I was thinking of putting out like a summer EP, like four or five songs, maybe. Like, yeah, I, cool. I, I wish I can play those on here, but copyright, bro. Fucking YouTube will just take it down and they're fine, man. They're communist guidelines and shit, you know? Oh, God. God, that's, that's like a whole other thing. Like, the, like the whole social media censorship and like, it's not, it's not okay, man. Like, like my whole thing is, um, my whole thing is too like people are complaining about parlor like you know you know like that the right wing you know you know what i'm talking about right and, racist conspiracy theorists yeah okay maybe there is some people like that on that app okay like i'm not gonna deny that like but at the same time it's like i look at twitter every day and there's like these really like racist radical like far left people and they and twitter does nothing to get rid of them so yeah. like why why isn't it even dude everything is run by the left like tell you, every like literally everything yeah. well i mean bill like, gates owns the media so like hey he just fucking puts out whatever you know and uh, uh i think uh, me and my dad were having a conversation i think his son i, I don't know if I, I think his name's rory gates he does all the fact checking so the fact checking is another big scam too oh yeah like you know dude i posted something about the covid lockdowns like a few like a, like a month maybe three weeks ago on my story and how i was like you know like enough is enough with these lockdowns and like right away like again anything covid related there's a fact checker i'm like who are you to say what is right and what's wrong you're not like 
like the, like this fact checker bullshit. Like nobody's a fact checker, okay? Like who 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 invented this? They're, they're just somebody who invented this. They're just somebody sitting there like, oh, okay, who am I gonna fact check next? Yeah, exactly, bro. It's just some friggin' Bob or something sitting in friggin' in his office. Like, who? What am I gonna fact check today? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's ridiculous man like it's i can't believe like eh, like i don't even know what to say that's why like i don't i kind of like again i don't really talk about my a lot of my opinions on the, the internet anymore because like i just don't because again they're gonna it's either gonna get removed or it's gonna get fact checked and i'm like that's 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 like that's not even about fairness that's like trying to silence your opponent Nah, dude, that's why, dude, that's why I said, like, I'm just focusing on my beats, bro. That makes that's... me, like, uh, such a better mood, bro, but, um... Yeah, man. I I forget, because I feel... In... No, what were you going to say? Sorry? No, like, I, that's what I mean. Like, I spent some time working on my podcast here and my TikToks now and... Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck Twitter. TikTok. I don't even use TikTok, bro. It's so... Fuck like, I, I enjoy that stuff, man. Like, I just enjoy, like, being on, like, my social... My, that kind of side of it where... You, you know, like I just like you know, just I enjoy it, but like I don't, I don't really like the whole like political like fact checking stuff. It's like Mark Zuckerberg doesn't know what's right and what's wrong. How, how does he know that? How how does how does Jack Dorsey know? How does um yeah like like these guys again they they they've like monopolized the whole social media game, you know? I don't know, so, man. I, like all I'm gonna say, cause like. <laughs> Fucking people just got to figure it all out. But in the meantime, because, like, I don't think I showed you how to make my beats. I can show you now. Also, people have been, bro, people have been asking me to do, like, a live uh, how to make a beat. But I can I can show you right now if you want to. Before yeah, put, put it up. yeah, we'll do we'll do this before we cap it off because we're, we're getting, yeah, getting late on. Okay. So, yeah, buddy, we'll, we'll show me how to do this, man. Wait, yeah. can, you, can you can you see my screen? Uh, Yeah, okay, I can see that now. You can see this, right? You can see my mouth and, and shit. Yeah, bud. Okay, I'll do I'll do two really quick beats. Okay, I'll do a, all right. I'll show just for you. our viewers too. If you guys want to learn how to make beats, you can get Logic Pro. It's Logic Pro, right? Yeah, yeah, Logic Pro. I just right. started using Pro Tools, but that's yeah. I'm still learning about that. Nice, buddy. I found this really I found this really cool sample. This one. I'll show you I'll show you how to chop it up. Hold on. And I'm just, I have like an, I have an MPC and I think this one is an Arturia. It's actually, it's actually my friend Corey, but I just stole it from him. JK, no, no, he just left it on my house. So I just, <laughs> using the shit. okay, I'll, I'll show you. So the BPM is 85. So this is how it sounds like. That's too slow. And also the. The sound of it kind of sucks too, so I'm gonna raise it like. I like that better. So, it, bro, that sounds good the way it is, but yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to chop it up and like kind of show you. I already actually I have an idea already for it. Yeah, buddy, that's awesome. Like, I sound, bro. I, I was going through my my loops and I was like, bro. And I, I saw that one, but I was doing school. Yeah. Never got around to chopping it up, but uh, I'm gonna just put some drums on it. I gotta find some like royalty free drums, cause, dude, you know how bullshit is. If you use like a second of like another drum, like a a song, like it's copyright. Like it's, it's yeah, it makes sense. That. It's it it's makes super. sense. You know. Okay, yo, so this part, hold on. For this part, if people want to know, so if you listen to it right now, it's not on beat. So Yeah, I can actually hear that. So you see where it says 90 BPM? This is a BPM, by the way. Okay. You Beats just, per minute, right? Yeah, so you bring it down to 90. And then you go uh. polyphonic, I think it's called. And okay. you raise it to 97, and it'll be with the beat now. I like that. That sounds freaking nice, buddy. So we're going to start off with... No, I'll show you the drums first. So you just put it into this quick sampler. 
Um, this you want to change to mono. I'll explain why. Um, let's say for an example, if you're playing it like this, uh, hold on. But if you like start pressing it a bunch of times, see what I'm, you see how it just plays over each other. You want to put it to mono and I'm going to take off play to end because we're going to do them individually. So mute these for a minute. Uh, hold on one sec. Where is it now? That sounds good. Yeah, do that, buddy. So I just got to see what... Okay, I already have an idea for a... Uh... So we'll start off... Actually, no, we should do the hi-hats first. Hold on one sec, bro. Yeah, no problem, buddy. I'm just going to drag him in, because if I were to... Rec... I mean, I can record it if you want to as well. This shouldn't take that long. Yeah, do I don't want to... You know? Yeah, buddy. So we'll do that. And then uh, it's off B right now. So what you want to do is go here, 116 node. It's going to quantize by itself. Okay. And then you just go here, new trap with duplicate settings, and we'll do the drums. And then I'll show you like how it originally sounded. <laughs> nice. I approve that burp, buddy. Now you've fully been on the show because you burped on here just like me. <laughs> ah, that fucking works. Why not? There you go. I'm going to just do something really quickly here. All right. Okay, that's where we got our problem. There's actually something I do. Uh, if you watch the screen, 48. Hold on, let me just try to find it. I'm going to move some of them down. Oh, so it has more bounce. Uh, excuse me. Jesus. It's okay, buddy. That sounds better, I guess. Says the king. <laughs> okay, let me just see how it sounds now. Now I can just change it right here. Sometimes it's kind of stupid the way it is, but... Yeah, that's okay. Let me see now. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah, that sounds perfect, man. Yeah. So this is what okay. we have so far. So I just took these drums, right? Yeah. And then this is our version. I actually like the, the loop better, but I'm just showing you like this Yeah, drum. yeah. So, you know, that sounds good. Okay, I ha I've got the... In oh, I think my mom's doing the, the clothes. Hold on a sec. Yeah, no, it's closed. Okay. Uh, okay, so I already have inspiration for this. Let All right. Let me just try to... Th da, 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 da. Okay. Before I lose it. Okay, that sounds good. Let's record that. All right. This is the, bro, this is a cool part. You can actually see on here what it is, but okay, that's good. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. My bad. It's, I usually play this <laughs> on the fucking D pod, bro. Sounds good. And then let me just 
quantize it. So this is what you got. So this is the original sample. You can actually see it on here. This part. And this is my version. See how it's moving? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. That's awesome. So this is what you got. Yeah, so that's, that's how I make the boom back. Somebody. I'll show you a trap one. The trap ones are like way better. Um, but yeah, so now here's the thing with sampling. If you, oh, use, yeah. if you use a really old song, songs before are not like on beat. You know what I mean? So yeah. unless if you were to like chop it up, it takes like a while to do. But um, I'll show you like a like a trap sort of because those are you know, i like those the best and those mm -hmm. take a while but i'll try to do it as fast as i can here because you know how do you know, i don't want to keep y'all waiting so like oh that's okay i, I want to hear the trap beat actually so go ahead there buddy <laughs> i like this one yeah so you just do the same thing this i'm actually going to show you as well why i do i don't do it all in one track you want to do the same thing with 16 because when you play it on the mixer Oh, hold on. When you play it on the mixer, it's gonna it's not gonna be the same volume, so okay. And, and these I usually like to just do like a and then I just copy it, you know. Actually I'll uh -huh. put this I'll put this at like 70, why not? Yeah. Okay, let's see. And you can go up and down. Oh, yeah, you can change, like, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, octave, I guess you say. That's cool, man. And then Fucking A. My, my method is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. So, again, you want to do, like, this custom fucking... I don't know what they, the hell they even call the shit. I just <laughs> go on YouTube, how do you do snare rolls and shit, and that works i guess i don't know <laughs> i'm not <laughs> I told you bro i'm not the best at explaining shit yeah it's okay buddy i know what you mean <laughs> um, let me just work my magic here yeah this fucking helps wait what the fuck okay hold on oh i <laughs> I was probably at yeah that makes sense here that makes perfect sense why the fuck is am i bro am i oh, okay that's why sorry there you go that should be good mind you like this is just like simple bead making right like, yeah Oh yeah, you, there's more. It's more complex. Like you can make it more complex, obviously. Yeah, like. But I just get going, kind of thing. Yeah, this is probably like the the simplest, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, huh, I I guess so, but I would say like it all depends, right? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'll just move this down. One. Oh, dude, that sounds pretty good. I like that. And then uh, there's also something else I do as well. Yeah. But I'm going to keep... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to keep that for now. And then let's get our snares. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see here. Hold on. Yeah, I like that sound. I like that. I yeah, thought that was good. with that heavy... Yeah, I like yeah. that one. And then I'm going to get, like, something else, too. Uh, why is that? Actually, no, it's okay. It's whatever. So for, like, all the drums and the, those kind of things, like, uh, do you have to, like, uh, does it come with the Logic, or do you have to, like, buy it, them kind of thing? No, nah, it does come with Logic, but they're shit. Like, they're not, like, super hard-hitting. 
So yeah. there's, yo, if anybody's, if they want to actually get started in music, if you go to Somatics, I think that's what they're called. They're melt, like, even if you want to use loops or MIDI packs, they're, dr it's amazing, bro. And most of it, like, most of it's free. I like that. Okay. That's not bad. Yo, I might have to steal this track from you, bro. <laughs> I might want it still. <laughs> it's all, it's all good, buddy. Fucking yeah, like, just I like pay it. me and pay me. I might want to use that. Pay me and pay me in crypto. will be. <laughs> and we'll just add one extra here. And then we all, oh, bro. Yeah, we, we can't forget about the kicks, right? Like the kicks are the fucking most important part. No, yeah, I don't know. You gotta keep those. Yeah, yo, you could typically tell you should be wearing headphones while doing it, but I'm just, you know, yeah, doing it. Fine, fine. Oh, actually, make sure you don't, you have to make sure you change it all to, yeah, see, I didn't even change them. Make sure you just change them all to mono. And I'll show you, I'll, okay, actually, no, I can probably show you on here um, how they do it. Okay. So I'm feeling, why is this so fucking, hold on. I'm just gonna do some like shit with this one. Hold on. Oh, I think that's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can see it ready. Sorry, I'm fucking nervous, bro. Buddy, no, don't, don't be. What the hell? Yeah. Okay, I got that now. Okay, so that we're gonna keep our beat really simple. Okay. Uh, hi hats. Uh, we might actually, you know, what, I might as well add one, right? Just cause. Uh, so you'll hear. Hi hats. That one sounds nice. Yeah, that sounds fire. Uh, so for the bass, um, and the hi hats or the open eye hat, I put on classic. I'll show you why in a sec. So you see how it immediately uh, it immediately stops at this part. Uh huh. And then when the snare comes in, so that's what I that's what I would do. All right. And I'm gonna do something really quick with the drums. <laughs> Just give me like one sec here. Yeah, buddy. I think that should be good. Hold on. something here there you go okay this is our beat it might be really you know actually it might be like really loud so you know what i might have to do hold on because i don't know if it's loud in the fucking thing but i might as well just hold on i might turn it down here just in case because we're hitting like plus 5.3 db is you got to mix it and shit, right? So, mm -hmm. um, I'll actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, I didn't use the MIDI, but I'll show you the MIDI for, um, it's actually the song for my intro on the B tape. So, All if right. I find it somewhere, which would be nice. Okay, it's right here. So, this is how it originally sounds. I'll play it here. Hold on. Like, it's okay, but... I like it. 
but there's a trick I could, you can do as well. Um, just click here, you go to functions um, and double speed it and then operate. So this is how it will sound like now. So uh, you can actually change the way it sounds as well. Uh, let's try Ghost Piano. That sounds cool. Um, I'm going to put some keys on, like another set of keys. Um, so there's also another trick you can do. All right. Uh, I promise this won't take a. This will be no, fun. No, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> well, go no, ahead, no. go ahead. I wanna, I wanna hear you finish this. All right. This part is a bit tricky, just because you have to like know chords. Yeah. Um, I fucking forgot forgot my chords, so like just don't even. <laughs> see, but <laughs> just trying to figure this out now. Cause you could just copy it and just you know. Mm -hmm. And then you know you just move it like this, and it's I think it's the same, so we're just gonna keep it the same. For now. Copy it. And I usually like to. Kind of keep it like this so it's easier you know this part is that's the only thing about trap beats is if you're doing like midis it takes for me at least it takes a bit longer i believe there's other ways you can do it but if you're like starting off this is like the best way to do it okay that's cool in my opinion you know yeah um and actually this yes, we can just like copy and And there's one I actually saw the other day. Faded keys, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, also, you need like a, a organ sort of thing. Um, so we'll add that too. Why not? Fuck it. Cool. Hold on a sec. Modern. I already know the sounds because I, I was using them for another song earlier. Mm -hmm. But, um, modern. That's, sick. That's what it's called. And also, if you make your own melodies from scratch, you, like, need... To... Don't be a bro. Don't be afraid to search for sounds, man. Like, that's, like, the most important thing. You know? All right, cool. For everyone that's watching too, yeah, don't be afraid. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this up an octave because it sounds better. And we're gonna do uh it's like a it's called dino I think it's called dino. I wrote it on here for a sample. I'm trying to it's called okay, yeah, dino dino simulation that's such a weird name sorry it's confusing anyway Base, but this is this is just it regardless. Oh, dude, that sounds freaking awesome, buddy. So I'm just gonna mix it really quick because this is like fucking loud. So it might it might be kind of fucked up on your thing. Because you like, dude, mixing is the most important part. Yeah. So like you know, but mixing takes a lot. So I'll just do like a sort of a raw mix. Because, you know, 
I like it though, dude. It sounds awesome. Should you should like you should like do this as like a like an actual thing, man. You know what I mean? Well, I wish. You wish? Why you say that? Because I I don't know, dude. I don't want to get involved in. I know the music industry's uh, yeah, it's kind of fucked sometimes. Like I can understand that. Okay, let me just mix all this fucking piano shit now. forgot about the fucking bass that's like you need bass bro like I, sometimes I, I i i remember i put out a song I'm like bro where's the bass it's like oh my god i forgot to add <laughs> this should be the bass is pretty easy i'll, I'll show you a trick to doing yeah that. i want to see that um literally oh yeah 16 hold on i gotta by the way with um with if you get like sounds from here some of them don't have a most of them actually don't have a quick sampler so you might get some latency with that but yo all you okay. gotta do is you just take the kicks right yeah and then and then all you gotta do is just uh match it to what we had wait why the fuck is that hold on So I just take this, right? You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, sort of copy it over. And then, yeah, all you gotta do is just. Yeah, that's good. And then, yeah, you just add, add it over, basically. Not bad, not bad. So instead of having to like find them and it takes like a lot of fucking work. Yeah. You don't have to do all that stuff, right? It's not bad. Yeah, man. And then after this part, I think we should be in the clear. All right, buddy. And you can do the bass however you want. Like, it doesn't necessarily matter. I just like doing a long bass because it sounds better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it sounds. I know what you mean, bro. Better. Yeah. Can't go wrong with the bait with bass though. It sounds it sounds good still. <laughs> yeah, no, real shit, bro. Like if you don't have a nice bass, you're an idiot. <laughs> so this is our bass now. Oh wait, let me just play the take this out. <laughs> And I'm gonna do something kind of kind of weird with it. Uh. Can't even hear properly. That's okay. That's fine. We'll just keep it like this for now. All right. And then, you know, just give me a sec. Hold on. Okay, I'll just keep it down here. All right. So this is how it would sound. With, we're going to just take everything out. All right. That's just the bass, though, right? Well, it's it's everything and with the bass. Everything so and with the bass. We, oh, okay. Usually for like the mixing part or like the the mastering, I'll I'm just gonna bounce this out just because why not? Mm -hmm. And then um, don't the, I'm just showing a quick master like this is don't never do this method because it's shitty. It takes like fucking hours to mix and master. But, um, <laughs> All right. So 
So this is what it sounds like before. It's not much of a difference because I didn't mix it properly, but. So you, you can see it's kind of hitting like a bit above minus 12. Yeah. So all right. When you turn on all this. See how it's like hitting above minus nine towards my or minus towards minus six dp it's that simple bro like dude i told you if you go on youtube or do any of that shit like it makes it makes so much sense bro yeah you man that's freaking awesome but yeah man there you go that's my like i guess that's my method it was that's that's a, that's how you do it homie that's good that's, that was a good tutorial i I want to probably get into this stuff eventually. Maybe if I get the time, that'd be awesome, bro, man. Fuck yo, reach the crib, bro. Like, fuck the yeah, lockdowns. Man. Just go, man. Yeah, 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 fuck these lockdowns. <laughs> bro, like, before I go, I was going to tell you, I'm going to get some speakers, maybe a new MPC, a new monitor for when I get the PS5. Nice, a new man. interface. It's going to be it's gonna be nice, bro. It's going to be, gonna be good. Very awesome, guys. Nice. Song. All right. All right. Uh... Wait, I, didn't just, I just said nice. Song. What the fuck? <laughs> awesome. Sorry, man. Uh, that's okay, bro. Well, hey guys, uh, to our to our viewers, thanks for joining us today, uh, Johnny, bro. Thanks for coming on. You're definitely allowed to come back on the show again whenever you'd like. So, yeah. you All right, yeah, bro. I'm I'm down for that. Actually, we should get it. We should get you two on the show. Get the three of us, like uh, you know, like the old days. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Project Twenty Four. Don't for, oh yeah, this is Project 24, the fun podcast. I gotta start saying that slogan in this. I keep on saying that. But anyways, uh guys, uh thanks for joining us tonight. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And uh yeah, we're signing off. <laughs>